Welcome back, moviegoers, to another edition of Going to the Movies. Today is not a filming locations video, it's a film-based tourism video. We're in Atlanta. We found this puppetry museum, which has a Jim Henson exhibit. Well, let's go in, see what they got, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Going to the Movies. Early Jim Henson make, made a show called Sam and Friends when he was in high school on his uh, CBS affiliate in Maryland. Here is a screen used puppet from that production, 1955 to 1956. Sam and Friends! Here's Ralph the Dog, originally created as a dog chow mascot for a commercial on the Jimmy Dean show. When you first come to the museum, you got some like reproductions of what his office might have looked like. Sort of a representation of what his workflow might look like. An ideas board here. A uh, mock-up of his stop-motion setup. And then, I guess this is something he created early on. I think a lot of Jim Henson's early work was in commercial production. Let's see. I promise we're gonna get to the good stuff, guys, but you gotta know the history to get to everything you wanna see. Well, check this out. This is a camel. But the room I'm standing in now is sort of a workshop. Not a real one, obviously, a museum version of what a workshop would look like. And it's really cool if you come here because we've got little interactive exhibits in here show you some of the material they may have used like string some of the eyeball stuff materials looks like an ear or something show you some of the electronic hookups and this is a screen used dog from storyteller what's this guy king gosh posh from hey cinderella 1968 let's talk about sesame street look at this Screen used Oscar the Grouch. This is not a screen used Big Bird, but sort of used for exhibits like he's being used on. And then I want to show you guys through here because we've got some actual Sesame Street characters. Roosevelt Franklin, used around 1970 on screen. Here's a Grover, used in Sesame Street. I don't know which episodes they would be because they probably created like hundreds of every character. Here is an Elmo photo puppet. So I'm guessing this was used for promotional images. So he probably doesn't have a hole in the back of him or something like that. Because he's not actually a puppet. And here is a screen used Cookie Monster. knows that TR stands for Traveling Rooster. So yeah, I never realized this until high school. I started watching the first season of Saturday Night Live. I was a big fan of that show. And as I was watching it, they had these little Jim Henson segments. They were more adult themed. And this seems to be from the same era, 1974. That season was 1975, first season ever. But this was from something called The Muppet Show Sex and Violence. 
And we have four representations of the seven deadly sins. So there's sloth on the right there. We've got uh, lust. And these are all from, I guess, the Muppet Show. Here's uh, some space hogs. Dr. Julius Strangeport and Captain Link. Hogthrob. Never, uh, never a bad name in the Muppets universe. It's a photo puppet of Kermit. Yeah. Over here. Screen used Muppet Treasure Island Muppets. We got Mrs. Piggy all dressed up. Mad Money. We've got this tiki statue. Oh, a model production model ship. One of the most underrated Christmas specials of all time. One I watch every year. Ain't no hole in the freaking wash tub, guys. Screen used rowboat. Emmett and his mom wrote in. Sadly, the only characters are the mayor and his wife, but it's still amazing, and I'm sure you can see the reflection right in the mayor's crotch. We're about to see something awesome. I was hoping that there would be dark crystal stuff and fraggle rock stuff. So here, look at this. Erskex transitional head. We have a Skeksis head. This is Skekshad treasure. His head has controls in it. Can you see the wiring? Here are the controls. I hope the video is smooth because I'm like shaking looking at this stuff. The Dark Crystal is one of the coolest, stylistically amazing movies ever. You can see something crazy. Look how huge he is. Secures costume used in the Dark Crystal tells you who it was designed and made by. The year, the materials, textile, beads, velcro, and metal, and then where it came from. So this one was used as it says. Let's see what else we got. Maybe this is a production model over here. It is. It's a model of this chamber for the Skeksis. <laughs> and uh, it's very hard not to. Uh, stay in certain spots because I keep seeing things from my childhood and this is one of the biggest things. Fraggle Rock. Here's Sprocket. Sprocket is everything you want in a dog. Except for the fact that he's not alive. Look guys, we got doozers. Labyrinth exhibit. Look at this. Here is the puppet door knocker. Screen used.
outside of the Jim Henson part. There's more and more cool stuff over in the Puppetry Museum from Pop Culture. We've got two main characters from Corpse Bride, which is kind of like our Halloween movie, you know? That's the first uh, couple of pumpkins we ever carved. These are on loan from Warner Brothers, so these are screen used or at least uh, used in some way in the production of Corpse Bride. We got Santa Claus from 1968, A Very Special Christmas. I have not seen that. I'll throw a clip if I can find one. Something I watched a lot as a kid, Gumby. Tried to watch later as an adult. Very difficult to do. Creators must have been um, heavily on psychedelics when making this weird show. Here is another awesome display, Tom Servo, Crow T Robot from Mystery Science Theater 3000. I think this is, these are used on the Netflix reboot 2018. Has a remote control. You can see the wires coming out. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the Muppets as much as we did. We are coming back with a filming locations video, so stay tuned. We're going back up to Indiana, and then we got some huge stuff coming this summer. So make sure you're subscribed, and we will see you in the next one.